Listen up, big news today. Aduro just announced a multi-year collaboration with Ecosa in Mexico. And I'm telling you right now, this one is way bigger than people realize. This isn't a tiny pilot. This isn't a nice to have. This is Aduro entering a market with 1.5 million tons of waste plastic every year. And the exact type of plastic their technology crushes flexible multi-layer plastics if you're an investor or thinking about becoming one you need to hear this let me break it down to you in plain english and show you where the money could flow from this deal aduro signed a multi-year agreement with ecosa now you might be thinking who is ecosa they're not a startup they're not an ngo they are the official producer responsibility organization in Mexico, backed by the country's biggest food and beverage brands. We're talking about Coca-Cola Mexico, Pepsi Mexico, Bimbo, Nestle, Denon. You know, the giant, it doesn't get bigger than that. These companies fund Ecosa to manage their packaging waste. So if Ecosa validates Aduro hydrochemolytic technology, then what? You instantly have the biggest brands in Mexico as potential customer or plant operators. This is a huge credibility boost. Mexico produces six to seven million tons of plastic waste per year. Of that, 1.5 million tons is flexible packaging, multi-layer, contaminated, mixed polymers. And this stuff cannot be mechanically recycled. Mechanical players don't want this. Paralysis struggles with it. Most of it goes into landfills or incineration. For Aduro, well, this is exactly the type of feedstock that hydrochemolytic technology was built to handle. Let's talk economics. If Aduro captures just 1% of this market, that's 15,000 tons per year. A single 25,000 tons per year plant produces 20 to 35 million of revenues with gross margins in the 30 to 50 percent plus range depending on pricing now imagine five percent of this market 75,000 tons or three plants 60 to 100 million in annual revenue potential can aduro get five percent of this market share well who is the competitor landfill or aduro paralysis and Aduro. Mechanical recycling versus Aduro. And the winner is, you get the point, right? But that's not the real story. The real story is licensing. Ecosas members companies don't want to build just one plant. They want a solution across the country of Mexico. They want something scalable, modular, and economically viable. That's the Aduro's model. Perfect for that. Hello. What will Ecosa and Aduro do together? Ecosa provides the waste streams and Aduro runs stage hydrochemolytic technology testing from lab scale to pilot scale to demo scale. They will evaluate processability, yields, product quality, compatibility with steam crackers and commercial routes. This is a real world plastic waste from Mexico, not lab grade plastic. Data from this program becomes the foundation for local hydrochemolytic plants, licensing deals, JV opportunities, and potential Aduro presence in Mexico. And importantly, this is a multi-year partnership starting in January 2026. This isn't a one-off test. This is structured collaboration towards commercial deployments. And you and I know how much I love the word commercial deployments. These words make me feel very, very rich. But why Aduro? Mexico's problem is growing. Plastic waste is everywhere. I have seen it with my own eyes when I visited Mexico four times. It's everywhere. It's on the streets. It's on the sidewalks. It's even in the mountains. Ecosa needs a solution that works on mixed and multi-layer packaging, produces a steam cracker ready output, runs at moderate temperatures with high efficiency, and delivers circular content back to the major brands. And Aduro checks all of these boxes. 
But here's the kicker. Independent pilot steam cracking trials already proved that hydrochemolytic oil can run as produced straight into the steam crackers with little to no post treatment with stable furnace operation and yields similar to fossil feedstocks. Nobody can do this but Aduro. Nobody. This is a massive commercial milestone. It means customer adoption risk drops dramatically. If the output works in a steam cracker, then you can sell it. It's as simple as that. Now, why should investors care? Let's talk about shareholder value. Here's what this deal unlocks. Number one, a new geographical growth engine. Europe, Canada, and now Mexico. Aduro is becoming a global company before the demo plant is even launched. Have you ever seen anything like this? Two, validation from high credibility industry players. Ecosa represents brands that create this plastic waste. This is direct access to the biggest packaging companies in Mexico. This is a collaboration on steroids. Three, a huge TAM that others cannot even touch. Flexible packaging is the holy grail. No one handles this well. No one. Not paralysis, not mechanical recycling, only Aduro can do this. Aduro has the technological advantage here. Four, licensing revenue potential. This is where the money really is. One 25,000 tons per annum plant can generate revenue share, licensing fees, per ton royalties, engineering fees, and long-term recurring income. If Mexico deploys three to five units nationwide, this becomes a multi-hundred million dollar opportunity over time. And you and I know that Coca-Cola, Pepsi do not just operate in Mexico. You do know that, right? That they operate in other places too, right? Number five, accelerated commercial timeline. Because Mexico has huge volume, governmental pressure, corporate ESG pressure, lack of alternatives, this could accelerate early adoption before the demo plant is even fully commercialized. Mexico is motivated. Ecosa is motivated. I am motivated. <laughs> Wait a minute, this is not about me. Okay. Brands in Mexico are motivated. They need a circular solution immediately. Look, the bottom line is this. This isn't just another MOU. This is Aduro planting its flag in a massive high need market with the exact type of feedstock that everyone fails at. It validates the business model. It validates the technology. It opened doors to licensing. And it positions Aduro in a country that creates 1.5 million tons of the material that Aduro specializes in. As an investor, I look at this and say, this is how you go from pilot to demo to commercial scale with the right partners and real demand. So keep an eye on this collaboration. The market has not priced it yet. And if you found this content valuable, hit the like button, subscribe for more updates, and drop me a comment telling me about what you think about Aduro entering Mexico. Again, not financial advice, do your own due diligence, and thank you for watching.